Good day. Welcome back to the Vitality Project. I'm Dr. Bob. And I want to welcome you. Thank you for joining me today. In our most recent post here, we applied what we've called mind-body bridging to high-risk situations. These are situations that when we face them, they have the capacity to, to, to knock us off balance. And uh, if we're in recovery from addiction, send us into relapse if we're not uh, really resourceful. What we're doing, uh, including in this most recent exercise, is we're practicing skills to begin with for beginning to examine and assess the link. And it's a direct link between what we're calling the red brain mode, which is our emotional reactivity in the midbrain, uh, the link between that red brain mode and such symptoms of that, of our being in that mode as cluttered thinking, increased stress levels, unpleasant, as unpleasant feeling states like anxiety, and the behaviors which oftentimes follow on the heels of them. And these include all of our impulsive attempts to self-regulate. So they're all held together. And our last exercise was, was meant to help you to see the connection. It can be very helpful to kind of get the lay of the land. <clears throat> now, having completed this first map, it's now time for a second one. Are you ready? <laughs> what I'd like to invite you to do today is take the same high-risk situation that you selected before, some situation that really throws you for a loop. Draw an oval in a, a, a brand new a blank sheet of paper. Draw an oval in the middle of it and write down that high-risk situation one more time inside the oval. But this time, before you do any more writing, I want you just to put down your pen, your pencil, and I want you to follow, follow me in some brief instructions for five minutes of mindfulness of the breath. I'm going to read the instructions for you or share them with you, and you'll take five minutes to actually employ them. The instructions are very simple. I'm just going to ask you to close your eyes. Begin to slowly breathe in through your nose. As you breathe in, notice that your stomach slowly rises when you inhale, and then it slowly falls as you exhale. So just pay attention to the rising and falling of your stomach. As you do this for the next five minutes, it's very natural for various thoughts and sensations to come and go. If your mind wanders from, from the breath, you know, you're focusing on the rising and falling of the breath, just gently return your attention uh, back to your stomach rising and falling uh, with each breath and set that thought, set that sensation, set that feeling just temporarily on a shelf. You can come back to it after the five minutes, okay? So that's the exercise. Now, having done that, what I want you to do is I want you to turn the piece of paper that you just wrote on and turn it over and write down how cluttered or clear did, does your mind feel right now? That is after meditating. How cluttered versus clear? How would you describe your mind? Also, on a scale of 1 to 10, where 1 is, is, uh, represents being totally calm and 10 represents being totally stressed out, where would you rank yourself right now in terms of how stressed you feel, especially on the heels of this mindfulness exercise, scale of 1 to 10? Next, write down whatever feelings you're aware of as you think about the high-risk situation that you've meditated on, that you've meditated sorry, the high-risk situation that you've written down and uh, in which you've meditated into and around. I'll get it out. <laughs> so what we're wanting to see is if, if you meditate for five minutes, how does it affect the various feelings that come up for you when you review this troubling high-risk situation? So as we talked about in the most recent exercise, you might have felt anger or sadness or fear. Let's see how you're doing with those and how strong those feelings are. Or if there are other feelings too, write those down. And finally, in this more relaxed state of mind, what might you feel like doing now in reaction to this high-risk situation? We talked before about how it is that when we get into red alert brain, we tend to act impulsively. How might that go for you now in hopefully a little bit more, maybe a lot, a lot of bit more of resting brain? Okay, so this is the second essential step here in applying what we're talking about, which is mind-body bridging. We're connecting up the mind to the body. And as we calm the body, does that help relax the mind? That's what we're working on doing. And we're applying it to high-risk situations that you face day in and day out. Let's see what you come up with, okay? 
In the meantime, I want to thank you again for spending part of your day with uh, me here, your Vitality Project. Um, I hope that you come back and join me. And in between now and when we come back here again, please stay safe and be well. Thanks.